Hey guys, welcome to Cody the Car Guy. So, a couple updates on the VR6 swap on the Jetta. Um, we've got the CCM transmission here. They also call it an O2J. So, this is just a 5 speed. If you're going with the 6 speed, it's going to be an O2M. Um, we've got the new clutch for it. We're going with the 6 puck ceramic clutch type setup. And also, we've already been upgrading the brakes on this to the VR6 brakes. Um, the faster you go, of course, you need to stop just as fast. So we've got the VR6 sitting up in the shop. It's the right there. We're going to be changing out the front and rear main seal. I have one head, and as you've seen on the other uh, video, got some of the other parts in. we got the ECU in and the key all to match and everything. Now, we've got some other stuff getting ready to go on where if you already have that, you can actually flash tune and modify your VR6 in the driveway. So, and you can actually send in your ECU, get it flashed type deal and uh, bypass the mobilizer. So if you're doing a VR6 swap, it makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to like change out so much stuff. So um, there's a couple little ways we're going to do this one. On this one right here, right now we're just going to get it in the car, get it up and running. And then eventually I'm going to come back and turbo this. So we're going to be uh, swapping out to the, I have some OBX um, headers coming in. We're going to put those on. We're just going to run it as an NA motor for right this minute. And then from there, like I said, we're going to probably change out the intake to a short runner type of intake and build this motor for the turbo when that's uh, there. So first, we're just going to get this thing in the car, get it up and running. And from there, um, after we get all the bugs worked out, I will go ahead and order in all my other parts. I'm going to do some forged rods, forged pistons. So we're going to run a short runner intake on this. Uh, so it's going to change and get a different look to it and polish the um, valve cover, make it look pretty sharp underneath the hood. So... Got a lot of stuff to do, but right now we're just going to go ahead and get the transmission on this, switch it out, put the flywheel on there, get it up in the car this weekend, and like I said, on all the little steps we're going to do on this swap, we'll, I'll list everything you're going to need on this um, from A to Z pretty much. It's, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to try this thing out and get it on the road and see what it runs like. So uh, now if you're, run, if you're switching from the 2.0 motor to the VR6, uh, one thing you will have to switch out is that starter right there. The starter is not going to work. Uh, like I said, you need to switch out your transmission. The the 2.0 transmission will work, but one of the problems you're going to run into that I've heard about is you can snap out your um, your input shaft on the transmission. So um, you want to definitely go with a VR6 style transmission. Now, the other thing you can do too is with the transmissions, a lot of this stuff will work from 93 on. Now this one's an older style um, CCM type transmission, so it came out of like a 93 to right at a 99 type of uh, either a Golf or a Jetta type deal. Um, some of the Passats also had the VR6s in them. So one of the things you want to look for too is you come down right here and you want to read that code. And once you see that code right there, and this one is a CCM. And the CCM is definitely a VR6 transmission so that's one of the things you need to look for those codes so you can see what you've got make sure you have the right one there's also several different uh, shift styles right there so uh, make sure you use the one that you know matches up with all your cables in your car it makes things a little bit easier so um, while you've got it tore down you know make sure all your seals are good uh, perfect time to change out your clutch while you've got it all apart like this so this is going to be the first step. We'll do a couple of series of uh, our videos this weekend so to show that this thing's actually going back in the car. Um, any of the problems I run into with the CV axles, I'll let you guys know on that. So um, stay tuned and we'll see where it ends up over the weekend. I'll catch you on the next one. Love 59 videos. Hey.